Elizabeth Hogarth Designs. Today we're taking a second look at the brilliant Happy Haunting from Craft Consortium. I did uh, view this collection about this time last year. Some of you may remember the paper pumpkin that I created. So full details of the paper pad and some of the embellishments are included within the video and I'll leave you the link above. So this is the 12 by 12 paper pad. This year we have some additional embellishments including the puffy stickers that are self-adhesive. So you peel them away and then you've got added dimension to add to your projects. And we've also got the decoupage sets so you've got 10 sheets with five different designs so we've got the cute owl the pumpkins the owls in the tree the little kitty cats and the cute gnomes so i thought i would begin today by showing you how i use these decoupage sheets because i know that there have been a few new subscribers to my channel so thank you and welcome I recently had a comment from i think it was a lady called michelle who was asking how you put these decoupage sheets together now this is the first way that i use them which is simply taking what you see from the decoupage sheet and layering them up one by one so let me quickly show you that so they're all numbered, so you can see you've got layer one, which is the main pad itself, and then all of these elements die cut out so that you can pop them and layer them up. Now, this is what I do. I actually add the sticky pads before I go ahead and make the topper. So we're simply going to take out topper one, And then we look for layer two, which is this one here. And then you gently pop them out. The pads on the back do add a little bit of weight, so do take care with them. And then it's simply a matter of peeling away the mini pads. Every now and then I will add some more. But generally, as long as you've covered the main area, you should have enough stability. So I would use this if I was making a simple set of cards or if I wanted the project to have some extra stability in the post. And the other thing that I do is I add a little touch of glue. This allows the topper to move about a little bit. I've just spotted an extra piece here. So I'm going to add, these are uh, miniature sticky pads. I use them for embellishments like candy, but you can find them in any good crafting store. The worst bit is taking the backing off. So... Let's just add a little bit of glue here. And then all I'm going to do is, let me bring you in a little bit so that you can see. There we go. So the top of the hat here needs to line up with the top of the main image. Like so. So that's layer two. We then move on to layer three. And again, it's simply a matter of popping them out, layering them up. There's layer four. Layer five. And layer six. 
So let's get those adhered to the topper. So there we have our finished topper. So you can see that all those layers really add dimension and interest. This is still quite light and is easily sent through the post, but it gives you the opportunity to add one, two, three or four layers really, really quickly and easily. And then you can add it to a card. This is a six by six card that i've cut down and i've added some of the happy haunting paper one of my favorite uh, dynamics dies in orange glitter and then i've just added a tint of glitter glue to the pumpkin itself so this one here will end up in a similar way or i would add it to a box set something like that the other way to use these decoupage sets is to break down the layers. And what I mean by that is to not use them as we did in the first example, but to use maybe layer one with layer three and then use them as different elements of the card. So for this particular card, I die cut using one of my circle dies, this topper here. And that became the centerpiece of the front of my card, which again I layered up using some of my black glitter card and Dynamics dies from Craft Consortium. Then what I want to do is I want to turn this into an easel card. So that's a matter of uh, scoring along the diagonal line here and then twisting it. So then I took the main well, layer two of the decoupage set and that became this element here now i want to add some dimension and this is where i pop out all the different elements and then i use some pin flare glue so this is glue gel you do have to be careful to um, make sure that you keep the seal on there so that it doesn't dry up but all I would do is I would take a layer 3 and I would add some glue gel there's my glue gel evenly spread you need about a pea size, no more than that, but it really does depend on the depth that you want. And then instead of using every single layer, I'm going to simply add that onto there, and leave it to dry. And then I'm going to take this element here, which is um, layer 5, and I'm going to add some more gel. And this is how I used to make the nativity cards where I was extracting the characters and putting them onto my own background. So this is a really good way to bring in your own die cut toppers without using them as they come onto the sheet. It's a really versatile and useful little tip. So then that one's going to sit on here. So again, we've got much more dimension on that one because the glue gel is slightly bigger. You can, of course, press it down if it's a bit too wide for you. And then because this is going to become my topper, this is being layered up onto some sticky pads. And then we're just going to add another small little bit of dimension to these little characters in the middle it reminds me of the storybook i want my mummy and which i used to read to the reception children when i was working at school it's funny how these things come back around and how you're reminded 
from images of uh, things that you may have done a few years previously. Now, I just want to add a sentiment. So this is cut from the word sheets. So there are a hundred of individual sentiments within this paper collection. Just a matter of cutting them out. And then we'll just pop that onto here. And then I will literally have to leave that to dry, probably overnight to be sure. And then I would add some sparkle. I hope that's helpful for you, Michelle, and anyone else who is new to the channel. So you can either use them with the sticky pads or you can use the glue gel technique and then layer up the elements as you so wish. I'll just show you a few more um, little projects that I've been working on. Many of you will know that I really love the front covers and all the different elements that you can get as your additional toppers, but I find it really, really hard to break up the cover. I like to keep the cover as a way of keeping my papers pristine and just for inspiration but this was my second paper pad because um, I was able to cut out the elements from the paper pad I used them to embellish a few more Halloween projects so this is simply a an MDF pumpkin I think it's from somewhere like the range or Hobbycraft and later on I will back this but I covered it with the papers and then I used the toppers to create a, another scene. So they're layered up as I have shown you before. But it's quite a good way of using all the different elements but having them as a slightly larger topper. So I think that would make a really good um, piece of home decor. My second project uses the front cover. So I've cut out the moon and the haunted house and everything and added my own glitter words. These glitter cards from Craft Consortium are really good. I'll leave you the link below. And then you can see the back of it here. But this is my pop-up card. So you've got all the different layers. And then I've got my very own haunted house scene. And these are the ink drop papers, which again are from Craft Consortium that I love. I think you could probably see it better like that. But I quite like the way that the scene worked out. And then you just simply close it. You've even got a creaking door like on the haunted house. This card is much simpler. Um, it was simply a matter of die cutting some large two inch letters from one of the pattern papers. And then layering it up. This one's for Claudie because she absolutely loves the musical Wicked. So there's round two of my Happy Haunting collection. It's a really, really great kit. As I've said before, I'm not a massive fan of Halloween. But I do love the characters in Hell's Couple Ditches illustrations. And I love the colours. The colours, the bright orange and the... Deep purples and the lime greens really work well together. I hope the little tips on how to use the decoupage sheets will help you. And that if you have any questions, you know that you can always leave me a comment below. Don't forget to check out Happy Haunting number one. Because in that you will see the paper pumpkin that I made for World Card Making Day last year. And right at the end, if you can watch to the end, you'll see all of the design team samples from 2020. And there were some really amazing projects. Please do like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to welcoming you back here soon. Thank you and bye bye for now. Happy haunting.